Miyoko Kogen Ski Resort Japan Miyoko Snow Sports helped AboveBelowTours.com with all of their equipment needs including the uniform to make this video possible I'm Nadja Anderson I'm your coach today I'm going to teach you how to ski I started skiing when I was five years old I started snowboarding when I was 19 and when you want to ski you want to make sure you have the right equipment such as goggles, hat, ski jacket, ski pants, ski boots of course, you need your skis and your poles. What else do you need? Of course, you need some snow. We have all that, so let's go. What's your name? Jason. Nice to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you. Jason, where do you come from? I'm from Taiwan. He's going to be our student today uh, for beginner ski. Okay, here we have the ski. This is called the bottom. Here's the top. Up here is the, the head. Down here is the tail. This here is called the bindings. Use a ski pole to tap any snow from under your boot or Use your bindings to scrape off that extra snow. Next, put in your toes, then your heels to click in. It's a good idea to walk around using one ski first just to get a feeling for your equipment. On a flat surface, practice the beginner stance called the snow plow. The tips of your ski should point inward, making an inverted V. Bend your knees a little and position your hands above your thighs. Try to position the tips of your skis closer together. The tail should be wide apart. Maintain your balance and keep a relaxed position. Place the top of your poles in the palm of your hands to help push. This assists you with walking on a flat surface. To walk, alternately slide your skis forward while using your poles to assist you. Skating is much faster and uses less energy. Shift your weight from one ski to the other, just like you would while rollerblading. Place your skis across the hill and take small steps. Your poles help maintain balance while sidestepping. Go down a small hill and use the snow plow position to stop by pushing on the inside edge of your skis. When you fall, put your skis parallel across the hill, bend your legs, and push on your uphill side to get yourself up. While traversing, ski across a hill and maintain your speed. If you feel the hill is too steep, try side slipping. Place your skis parallel across the hill and change your edge angle to slide down. To make your first turn, shift your weight onto your downhill ski and look into the direction you want to go. While traversing, point your ski tips downhill and shift your weight to the downhill ski. Complete your turn by moving your skis uphill. Repeat again going in the opposite direction. Maintain your snowplow stance for better speed control. While parallel skiing, keep both skis on the same edges and point them in the same direction. Plant your downhill pole into the ground to initiate a turn and keep a rhythm. With short turns, pretend you are skiing down a narrow path. Your poles assist in helping you maintain a consistent rhythm. To stop, quickly rotate your skis across a hill and dig into your uphill edges. A larger angle on your edge creates a faster stop. To improve your skiing, try varied terrain, such as skiing through trees. Deep powder is always exciting. And small jumps creates great photo opportunities. Use a pole to release your boot from your bindings, then step onto the other ski. Or, you can just step on both bindings with your feet like this. Get your skis together, like this. Okay, and we lift it up onto our shoulders. Like that. Okay, grab the poles. And then now I can walk. It feels like it's new, fresh. AboveBelowTours.com. See you there. Above and below, taking you to places you dream of.